Hello at uh, PTC uh, 2017. It's great to be here. Uh, I'm Robert Pepper and I'm here with uh, uh, Trisha Pauletta. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, the theme of new realities and how that uh, is affecting policy. So uh, when I think about new realities, I think of at least four. One, we have new technologies that are really changing the way in terms of what we can do and how we do it. Second, as a result of the new technologies, we have new business models. Uh, business, new business models for all of the players. Uh, and in part, that's because of the third change in reality, which is the change in business structure, industry boundaries that are beginning to blur. Convergence is absolutely real. We talked about it for many years. And it's here, it's been here for quite a number of years now. But that's been leading to the fourth change in reality, which is the changes in the way uh, consumers behave, changes in consumption models. So with all of these changes in realities, the question is, Tricia, what are some of the implications <laughs> for policy? Right. Well, implication for policy, as we had talked about earlier, is that mobile, right? The demand for mobile. Consumers want their mobile devices, uh, they want their video, and this is, you know, pushing all the, as you say, the changing realities in, in the business model and in, uh, you know, the need, right, to deliver those services. So I think we're, we're seeing a lot of push, and I'm sure this is global, it's not just in the United States, you know, for, for access to more spectrum. We're seeing it from the satellite community, which is, you know, upgrading their technology. We're seeing it from the terrestrial community, which is, uh, you know, pushing the boundaries of usable spectrum and into millimeter wave spectrum. So, and, and this is all forcing policymakers to grapple with how do they feed that demand. So I, I think spectrum has been a, a real topic here in, in this PTC. And then of course the demand both from the well content providers like Facebook, Dr. Pepper's with Facebook, uh, you know, driving the push for more infrastructure is in part to feed that, that mobile demand both from data and, and particularly video data. So I think spectrum is a key policy issue that regulators around the world will have to face and you know particularly in the United States just because they we uh, United States FCC and the administration has prided itself on trying to get spectrum out there to the market and the demand's not going away so it's going to be a continuing uh, challenge they're going to have to face. So we have all kinds of new services that you know we can use using radio spectrum to reach really the unserved and part of you know the vision that we have is how do we connect the four billion people who are not yet connected. Um, and the, one of the questions is we've had very traditional spectrum management with you know licensed and unlicensed but one of the newest trends is how to dynamically and appropriately share opportunistically spectrum. Do you think that that's going to be an important future way of thinking about spectrum and making it available? Yeah, absolutely. And, and in the U.S., I mean, we in some ways we're, we benefit from our, our our geography where we do have you know, a continental size country. We don't have we have dense use in the cities, but you know, spectrum is not as as you tens, you know, intensely used in in some of the uh, lesser markets or you know smaller markets. So I, the challenges are not quite as acute. But you know, in other countries they do have that issue. But what we do have, as uh, many folks know, we have a active military because of the size and our role in the you know in the world. So I think there's there's demand from the U.S. government to share that spectrum as well. There's you know, bilateral sharing, which of course the industry doesn't like to talk about because the trust real industry wants more spectrum, satellite wants more spectrum, but to get access to that spectrum, everybody's gonna have to share and, and come to the table. And in the United States, uh, a year, well, two years ago at this point, uh, the FCC did adopt a dynamic uh, sharing framework in mid-band spectrum and the what you know satellite industry would call C-band we call it uh, you know 3.5 to 3.7 gigahertz and I think that will be an interesting uh, model to, if it succeeds and you know it's it's underway and to assess the possibilities for dynamic sharing you know in other bands so we'll, we'll have to see but you know it's it's needed in certain markets in the United States at this point, and because of that competition for spectrum bands, you know, from satellite and terrestrial, uh, we're going to see it in more, or we're going to feel the need for it in more and more bands. And I think that will be, yeah, if we have success with that in the United States, we're going to see other countries exploring that as well. That's great. And so, one of the realities that's changing is the increase in demand and, and consumption and patterns, and that spectrum and spectrum policy is absolutely one of the ways that we're going to be able to meet those new demands and actually 
meet those new realities. So um, well, thank you very much. Um, and this is this has been great. We're like, going to have to continue the conversation, maybe yes. even at Spectrum Futures, which is again ah, one of the very PTC, That's true. PTC activities. So I want to thank everybody for taking a little bit of time to think about the changes in realities also as it relates to policy and spectrum. So thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Pepper. Thank you.